Hey everyone, welcome to a moment of family health. I've been on this marriage journey for about a decade now, 10 years, wow. And I know in, that, in this time, there have been moments where my husband and I have um, fallen into a rut where we felt stuck, um, maybe where it's been as if we're just like in the day-to-day -day routines and missing connecting on a deeper level. And I wonder if you're like me, um, where that's certainly not the preferred way of living or relating. And in those seasons or spaces, discontentment, criticism, comparison, and then resentment can quickly come when, when our marriage relationships are like that. And I wonder if you're like me, not preferring that and wanting to find um, that relational piece of joy and contentment, of um, satisfaction and delight. And so today I want to um, invite us to consider a practice for our marriages. It is the practice of appreciating daily. Now, I understand that um, appreciation takes discipline. It's a habit, it's a practice. The practiced brain um, can, scan one, can scan one's environment looking for the gifts um, to be appreciated and enjoyed. While the untrained brain, the brain not practiced in appreciation, can quickly find fault and move to criticism, appreciation um, tends to attract us to the other. It activates our the relational right side of our brains which then allows us to be the best version of our relational selves that we can be. We're gonna offer our best selves to the relationship when we appreciate daily. And also what happens is when we can reflect upon memories of the past that, that were delightful, that we appreciate in, why what happens is our brains release those good feeling hormones of oxytocin and we our brain responds as if we're reliving that moment all over again. So there's great joy that comes from appreciating daily. Now I understand if couples are in a particular distressing season, one might say, I can't find anything um, to appreciate. And to that I would say, um, I hear the, the um, depth of pain that's here. I hear the um, just strain of the relationship. And so I wonder then if we could consider a memory. Um, perhaps during those early dating years or those in the season of when you realized we're falling in love. Uh, or perhaps it's a vacation memory or holiday memories. Those early stages of parenting together. Um, Consider if there's a memory that you could um, find as, oh, I do appreciate that experience together. Most often appreciation comes through shared joy experiences. It's, it's a relational piece that we can um, find where others are part of it. Um, or perhaps it's something of what can I look for in my spouse from this week, today, where I saw a turning towards where I saw um, his or her character evidenced and um, the image of God, I bore witness to the image of God. Um, that would be something to appreciate. And so um, I learned a technique or a habit, um, if you will, of appreciating daily from the work that Marcus Warner and Chris Cor Corsi have done. And it's, um, a skill or a practice called three by three by three. <laughs> um, and so I want to invite us to do that daily with our spouses. So maybe at the end of the day or at dinner, um, consider appreciating something from your day, appreciating a characteristic of your spouse, and then appreciating a characteristic of God and sharing that with one another. And so it could look like this for appreciating something in my day, I might say, oh, you know, the sun um, 
coming out after rain just brings this glistening to the earth. It's like there's a crispness that I love and I, I saw that today and I'm, I appreciate that part of God and his work in nature. Or maybe it's, I appreciated that I had one whole hour of complete rest while each kid was down for a nap or something of that sort and then move to appreciating a characteristic of your spouse. And so this isn't just saying, I like that you wash dishes. It's saying, I appreciate that I saw your heart to serve. Um, I noticed it last night when you just got up to wash the dishes. Or I appreciate how you got up in the middle of the night to attend to our kiddo and her bad dream. I noticed like that felt to me like we were partners in this and that feels good. And then lastly, appreciating a characteristic of God. Man, when I um, got a, a phone call that sent me um, feeling a bit distressed, I'm thankful that I just was like, Jesus, I need you. And I felt peace in my heart. I felt like he was right there with me. He was responding to me and um, that feels comforting. So friends, I invite you to join me and my spouse um, in practicing appreciation daily, three by three by three. Appreciate something from your day, appreciate a characteristic of your spouse, and appreciate a characteristic of God. And let's see joy enter our relationships to, in a more full and complete way.